women. What surprised you the most the first time you saw or played with a male pens? I thought balls had two different sacks. Can't get that imagery out of my head. Definitely more on the silly side. But when I was 15 and took a trip to New York City we went to a couple of museums. From internet usage and health class I knew what penises looked like in a drawn aspect. But suddenly seeing these nude marble statues with the 3D genitalia I was a little taken aback. I remember leaning over to my mom and whisper asking her if that's what they really looked like. Pretty sure she laughed at me. The first time I ever gave a hand job to completion I was 14, and so was my BF. I guess I knew what semen was, but I was so surprised when it came shooting out everywhere. I asked him if that was supposed to happen, and he laughed and said yes. I just remember being so shocked at how much of it there was and how sticky. Never realized sexual acts required clean up. I remember being a teenager watching my boyfriend jerk himself off as a demonstration and being surprised that it was sort of little squirts. I expected it to be like peeing and it's a steady flow. The very first time I gave a BJ. I had no idea that anything was supposed to come out. I was shocked when suddenly my mouth was filled with warm goo. I just kept it going though. Not sure what I thought was supposed to happen. What a trooper. Did he at least tap your head for courtesy? A gentleman right here. What surprised me most is that a man can beeps without being hard. Or can be hard without being ps. Most of the time it's in sync. But sometimes the state of the cock does not represent the state of the owner. Edit. Thanks for the awards. Upvotes and all your comments. I'll try to upvote it and read them all. Never thought this would blow up this much. It's just something my husband taught me after having the common misperception for almost 10 years. I'm so happy he did. But it still blows my mind. Why does this thread feel like one big sleepover party? Isn't Reddit just one big sleepover party? Mom can you pick me up? When he made it move all by itself it blew my mind. You seen the helicopter? I've seen the helicopter done with hips swung in motion, but are you telling me some can do it purely with brain power? Softness. I don't know what I expected honestly. I had a very incomplete sex education. So I was surprised to see that the balls were underneath the penis, not on top at the base. How the hell did you get the beans above the frank? How squishy it is flaxid. Makes me feel queasy when my bf fold slash bends the is a joke. Really? Lol. Bends 180 degrees? I know it's not painful, but I feel the pain. If it's flaxid it's like moving around your ear with your hand. If it's hard it's like bending your nose too far. As ups this answered a lot of questions. I should say, when flaxed it is significantly more pliable and soft than an ear. We can bend and stretch them quite egregiously. Below would be better. Or tongue. Ball skin is constantly moving. Surreal. It's like a moving magic eye painting. I'm fascinated that the dudes responding to this message are just learning about it from these comments. Neat. I only noticed it a couple of years ago, and I was already in my 20s. I guess we don't spend nearly as much time watching our balls as we do scratching them. Lol. The texture. When they said hard I didn't know what to it wasn't that. Exactly. I was so surprised that it could be so soft and so hard at the same time. It's still pretty entertaining, to be honest. I expected the penis. Didn't expect the balls to be so... there. I did expect the balls, but more like they're drawn on every wall, school desk or wherever. Did not expect that unformly sack just hanging there. And had no clue at all what to do with it. Saying hello is a good start. A handshake if you're formal. Maybe a kiss if you want to get personal. The veins. My penis is more shredded than my arms. Edit. It was obvious my first gold would be on a weird comment about ps. 
Thank you kind stranger. Have a great day. Funny. Since they are getting the exact same amount of exercise. Edit. So long reddit. And thanks for all the fish. Dude that man had a family. Parents and siblings maybe. Definitely had no wife or kids. How hard they actually get. Same. It's so strange. It's operate on the same principle as hydraulics, which power almost all industrial machinery forklifts, bulldozers, jaws of life, etc. O. D. Can confirm. I'm using PS's forklift. Saw a grower, not a shower, and was super impressed by the size when erect compared to flaxid. It's truly fascinating hahaha. <laughs> right. Sometimes. I slowly play with my husband, just to see the growing happen. I don't know why it fascinates me so much, but it does. As a man, I admit I've done this many times before. Hey, leave her husband's penis alone. Never. It had ribs. I was confused as hell. It really felt like there were bones in there. Only later did I realize that it was the condoms we used that had those structures on it. Took a while for me to get used to the fact that ps usually don't have ribs. Ribbed for our pleasure. Ribbed for her confusion. The penis wasn't all one uniform color. Was veiny and don't even get me started on when I saw the balls. I remember thinking why are they just hanging like that? Have you ever had a closer slash longer look at the balls? It's almost like a lava lamp. Yes. This was the thing that weirded me out the most. How the balls can move around so much on its own. I'm a guy and this weirds me out sometimes. Edit. Holy ps this blow up. My highest voted comment is about my wiggly balls. Awesome lol. HMM. I'm a guy and never noticed that. Edit. Holy ps it's my own personal love lamp. I'm a guy and now I'm afraid to look. Edit. Well. I have never noticed just how much they move until this very moment. That's disturbing but kinda funny. Not the penis. But testicles are. Alive. Like two separate. Living entities in a soft skin bag. I could not believe how much they move around. And if you give them a little poke. They move even more. And then if it's cold. The skin underneath gets all thick and clumpy. They are extremely fun. How they can start squishier than a marshmallow and end up harder than ups rock people aren't playing around when they say rock hard. The first time I saw ups I honestly thought, no way will that fit inside me. It wasn't huge. I just was very naive about the pounding my vag can handle. I had a female friend who, in 7th grade, thought a penis was the thickness of a pencil. Not sure if she had a heart attack the first time she saw one or not. But the shock must have been overwhelming. I knew a girl in high school that thought an average penis was the size of a Gatorade bottle. Lord I hope she found sumps before becoming sexually active or that's going to be a pretty massive F for the first guy she had sex with. I thought it would be slimy for some reason, so I was pleasantly surprised. I was very young. I can see that coming from a young person. Vaginas get slimy when they are aroused. Stands to reason other genitals would too if you don't know how other genitals work. Yes. I think that was my thought process. How goofy it looks when flaxed. Like it's just this weird stretchy knob hanging out between your legs. How can that not feel weird when you walk? How do you walk and not squish everything between your thighs with every step? Still blows my mind a little when I stop to think about it. Because it's technically not between the legs. It lies anteriorly at the lower abdomen. Also the sensations are not generated while walking because the tactile receptors get desensitized by the touch of our thigh skin. That's a general property of receptors. The problem are balls getting squished between fat thighs while sitting in a tight spot. That it sort of floated in a bath. I didn't expect that. Ah. Reminds me of the old island in the ocean with one palm tree and two coconuts that gets flooded from time to time game. I thought that was just me. 
so I had never seen even so much as a picture of a penis. I had only seen babies naked like, while changing diapers not in a weird way. It's just true. So I was absolutely shook by the size of the thing. It was like 5x bigger than I expected, and I was freaked out it reminded me of a dangling third leg. I was only like 16. And I'm mid 20s now. In hindsight. He may have had a massive but at the time I just had no clue. Could you define big? It was almost 10 years ago so honestly I could not. Maybe was 6 inches so. Big but not freakish and just seemed huge compared to what I have between my legs. Maybe was 9 inches and actually was freakishly large the thing is I literally had zero point of reference. Removed. Same. Edit. Same.